very good so the question is is there any standard method for calculating uh, the life of an asset or the amount of depreciation on an asset so uh, please remember globally or more so uh, in the us in in about 150 countries there is a system of accounting which is known as ifrs internal financial reporting standards so ifrs uh, has a standard uh, which talks about uh, the accounting of plant and machinery and that also includes depreciation so uh, every company uh, will have to uh, estimate based on the technicalities and find out as to what is the estimated life of a particular asset so let's say a particular asset has a life of 20 years and the cost of this asset is 100 million euros so what this company how will this company charge depreciation this company will charge depreciation uh, by dividing the cost of the asset which is 100 million euros by the life of the asset which is 20 years so in this case the depreciation is going to be 5 million euros over next 20 years which is the estimated life of the company or of the asset so that is uh, one way of doing it uh, the another way of doing it is uh, based on the unit to be produced so uh, if you purchase an asset and life of this asset is linked with the number of units this asset would be able to produce so in such a case what you would do uh, you would divide the cost of the asset by the number of the units this asset would be produced so that becomes uh, the depreciation per unit of the production and you multiply uh, this per unit of production with the number of units produced in that particular year and that becomes the amount of depreciation on this asset in that financial year hope that answers your doubt sir i have a question now, which one is the better method of calculation the depreciation uh which one we do straight line method right like right which one is the better uh, method to calculate the actual depreciation 